Konnichiwa everyone! Today we're going to be reviewing our merchandise haul from the Tokyo Disney Resort from our recent trip. Yeah, we were lucky enough to get a chance to go and we were able to pick up a lot of really cool merch. And one of the coolest things about it is it was really cheap compared to at least the American parks. So we got a lot of it. <laughs> We recently took a trip to Tokyo Disneyland mm -hmm. and I think bought all the merchandise they had to offer. <laughs> like anything that we had like an inkling of wanting. Like usually there's a filter there and I'm like, no, I don't need that. And it was basically everything. Just give me everything. Yeah, I mean, what, what's so amazing, I think why we were like, hey, just buy anything they have mm -hmm. was because it's different merchandise. They had a lot right. of different merchandise. Um, so I guess first thing is, I mean, these t-shirts. Yeah. We, we got both of these shirts there. Um, so obviously this says... Uh, Mickey Mouse in uh, Japanese. You can tell by the Mickey ears there. And that's Mickey Mouse. They have, a, they have a couple of these where you can kind of tell by the character shape. And then you got a really cool Stitch yes. and Mickey because they love Stitch. Stitchy. Stitchy, as, yeah. As, as they refer to them <laughs> um, in, in the Tokyo Disney Resort. So they have a lot of these, you know, like really cool, unique merchandise yeah. that they have there. You know, so, so you're there, you want to get it. And it's pretty and, inexpensive. Yeah, it's, it really wasn't that much. I know we searched for this shirt for a while because they had ones that were just Mickey, but oh. I saw people wearing the ones with Mickey and Stitch. And I will say that this, out of all of my Disney shirts, I get a lot of compliments on this one. I think that people are all... Yeah. It's, it's just very different than what we have over here. Right. Yeah, and I think of all the stuff we will show you today, I don't think anything mm -hmm. costs more than 20 or 25 dollars yeah I think, that, I think that yeah i think you're right yeah so it's pretty cheap which is unheard of for a disney <laughs> theme park i mean overall the tokyo disney resort so you have tokyo disneyland tokyo disney sea it's pretty inexpensive i mean if you don't count the airfare <laughs> and everything to get there but the theme park tickets are maybe like 60 dollars a day the merchandise is pretty cheap if you've ever thought about going it's definitely worth checking it's out we actually have a podcast on our trip recap of it, and we will post that in the description below Check if you want out. to hear more uh, more details about the, the theme about the parks trip. there. We have, we have several. We have one about planning the trip. We have one about our, our experience there. So yeah, definitely check that out. It was a really fun episode to record. I'm going to have to re-listen to it as my memories start to fade too. So yeah, check it out. All right, so let's jump into this. So besides these shirts, you got the mini bow. Yeah, so I'm rocking the this Ariana nice. hair right now because <laughs> I wanted to show off my mini bow. And if you can see on this side, there's actually a little mini mouse, like little gold uh, mini mouse on it. And I thought it was really cute. So uh, it was super hot when we were there. And I did a lot of wearing my hair up in a ponytail or off to the side in a braid. So this was perfect and it looked really cute. And it went really well with the mini skirt that I got, no pun intended. Yeah, and then you got this one because it was so cheap. It because was twenty dollars. Yeah, because you've you've seen them in the U.S. parks, and I think they're like fifty or sixty. I, I don't know if I've ever seen this particular one, but yeah, this was this was twenty dollars. I think I think it might have been nineteen dollars, mm -hmm. but um, it it's really cute, and it's actually I mean it's not super duper short so i can kind of make it work if i kind of pull it down i could even maybe wear it to work makes for a really good disney bound yeah you know, the it's, skirt it's excellent and, the and then the bow yeah, yeah so i thought it was really cute another thing we got we got some park maps obviously <laughs> so we got we got park maps for both uh, disney sea and disneyland and we got japanese ones as souvenirs and when we were there <laughs> Thankfully, they had English ones there. Yes. Um, so you were able to kind of get <laughs> yeah, around. Yeah, no, we read the Japanese ones. Yeah. I mean, that is a question that, you know, I think a lot of people would have is, if I don't speak Japanese, can I go and enjoy the yes. Disney parks? Uh, 100%. Yes. They have uh, maps in English. All the ride signs are in English. Some of the safety <laughs> readings are in English. But you, you kind of know, I mean, if you've ever been to a Disney park, you yeah. kind of know what's going on. Japan is a very considerate country, so um, sometimes there were places where we went that literally the English was above the Japanese. Mm -hmm. So there's you don't have to feel that intimidated by the language barrier. I will say that there are some different cultural things about taking pictures of some of the rides. Like I think it was Disney Sea when we were there. If you pulled out your camera in certain locations, they would tell you to put it away. They didn't want you taking photos. Right. Yeah. That's it's. You know, like in, in the U.S. parks, I mean, a lot of people will take GoPros on yeah. rides and they take pictures on rides. And Disney really doesn't care. You can basically take a picture or video on anything. But over in Japan, 
Yeah, it is a little bit different, and it's more like you don't want to take pictures of other people right, in public. Right, it's a cultural thing. Um, you can definitely take some pictures of the rides or on the rides, or in the parks if you're taking photos, it's fine. Mm -hmm. You just kind of want to be a little bit aware of if you're taking pictures of other people, or sometimes if you're in the... I think it was more like when we were in some of like the darker scenes and like mm -hmm. the pre-shows, you know, they, I think just to kind of prevent flashes from going off, they just tell people, hey, you know, no yeah. pictures, anything like that, so... Um, but another like really cool thing that they have that I haven't seen anywhere else but mm -hmm. um, at the Tokyo Disney Resort is these little, uh, they're called nano blocks. So I got a, I got a Buzz Lightyear one. Yeah. Hopefully you can see that. I haven't built mine yet. Um, but <laughs> I got, you got Ariel. I got so excited about Ariel that I went ahead and built her pretty much immediately. <laughs> so she is, I mean, she's a full little mermaid and <laughs> no <Nope. laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you even have the back of her hair. She's really cool, and obviously you can tell right off the bat that it's Ariel. Yeah, and they, they have these, I mean, these are pretty neat. So these were $16 um, for these. So these are a little bit more expensive for how big they are, but they have um, a ton of these there. So I got the Buzz Lightyear one because it was pretty cool. They actually Woody, had, I think. Yeah. yeah, they even had like the park though. You mm -hmm. could buy larger ones that were much more expensive that were replicas of the castle in Tokyo Disneyland or part of Tokyo Disney Sea. And if you bought five or six of them, you could get the monorail and everything. And you could actually recreate the, the Tokyo Disney Resort out of these little uh, nano And nano, I accidentally nano blocks. I accidentally broke it off, but you can see how tiny the blocks are. Um, hence why they're called nano blocks. But I actually kind of messed up her tail a little bit but yeah they're they're really fun to build with yeah so i will uh i'll have to build mine eventually there and so another like really cool thing we got and again this kind of goes by like wow we bought so much merchandise <laughs> because they have they have a lot of characters mm. they're merchandise for a lot of characters you don't typically see right. so stitch um is a big one you know duffy uh is another big one which we did get some duffy related merchandise um duffy is huge in in japan oh my gosh um, it, it rivals mickey i think mean, bigger than Mickey. yeah bigger than bigger mickey. than mickey so, so that's true. um but they have stuff you know so like this tigger and this is actually a it, it can hold your phone or remote. remote yeah so it's it's a pretty cool uh you know little thing there it's it's got a flexible tail i mean it all it all flexes so you can kind of adjust it for whatever you have oh look at that he's saying hi oh it's cute. I think we should keep him like that because he's not very good as a remote holder. Yeah, he doesn't. He, doesn't hold <laughs> he does a remote not very work. Well. Like out of all the the things we got, he is probably one of the least practical things that we he's got. He's cool looking though. He's but like he is cool, really cute. Uh, like I liked him just for like being on your desk. Like that's actually pretty cool. That's yeah, awesome. Though. Yeah, we should we should just put we should him, like keep that. him like that. Yeah, so, I agree. Yeah, but this was a, a cool. Maybe give me our little mascot in the corner. Right, and and this was nineteen dollars. Mm -hmm. So just to kind of give everybody. Um, you know, an, an idea of, of how much some of this stuff costs. Um, in addition to the t-shirts, in addition to the t-shirts we got, I did get this other t-shirt. So this one is in English. <laughs> so, so this one says Tokyo Disney Resort 1983 is when it started. So, you know, Tokyo Disney Land was the uh, first international Disney theme park. If you hold it like this, it almost looks like it's coming from Tigger's arms. <laughs> there, Tigger's... He's holding it. So I got this shirt as well because I kind of wanted one. I mean, this one's really cool because um, it's making in Japanese, but a lot of people may not know that this is from Disney. I mean, you can tell by the ears, but yeah. a lot of people may not know. So I wanted one that had, you know, yeah. English on it this as well. Is, this is better for wearing around just when you're casually wearing it around. This is better for wearing in the parks when people might recognize, like, oh my goodness, that's where that's yeah. from. Yeah, and I will say, so th this is a, a large, which isn't necessarily... Um, much bigger than I wear in the U.S., but definitely try stuff on. You kind of have to be yeah. aware of things because, um, like a U.S. The sizing know, is a little large. Could be like a XL um, over there. Like they have much different sizes. Right. So if you notice, like this shirt is a little short. I would have preferred if it was a few inches longer. And I'm pretty sure it was an adult small, but it is it is rather short for an adult small. So just keep that in mind if you're buying anything. The other thing that just like kind of blew my mind when we were over there, Mickey ears weren't huge. You didn't see them all over the place. And again, like, it's because they love Duffy. Yes. They don't care about I it. mean, part of it. But also, you saw a ton of people, though, instead of wearing the Mickey ears, even though it was 9,000 degrees, wearing these headbands. So. And um, I'm starting to see these yes. in the U.S. parks. They have the simple right. ones now. But they have. Yeah, I have those in the other room. They <laughs> have 
a ton of these though. And again, it's kind of more obscure characters. So you got the aliens, but they had 101 Dalmatians right. uh, were some of them. They had... Mm -hmm. They had Tigger. They had... Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other... They had Duffy-related ones. Yeah, they had Duffy. They had Duffy ears, yeah. So... Um, yeah, they probably had 10 or 15 different yeah. ears that you could get. It really is... I mean, they definitely... They sell uh, Mickey ears there, but it mm -hmm. is more their version of the Mickey ears. The yeah. headbands are far more popular. <laughs> I think they're pretty cool. Yeah. Like, I would wear that before I would wear Mickey ears. I mean, I have the I have the Star Wars Mickey ears that light up, which are pretty cool, but I, I don't wear them a lot because well, these... I, I feel like I feel kind of weird wearing Mickey ears and they, they kind of hurt after a while, but those, that's pretty comfortable. I mean, yeah. I, I could see wearing that, especially if it was a little bit cooler out. Right. I will, I will say that at night, I think a couple times at night it got a little cooler. Um, I think I might have even bring it, brought or whenever I went to the U.S. parks and we went and it was cold, I bought the Simba one and it was great because I put it over my ears as like earmuffs. But yeah, it works pretty nicely as kind of just a as a as a headband. It looks goofy, but it's a lot. No, of No, it's not goofy. <laughs> no, but it's a lot of fun. So um, I think I'm, I'm I think I'm just gonna rock this for the rest of the. <laughs> yeah, no, that that's pretty cool. <laughs> also, one of the bigger things there. Uh, speaking of Duffy is these really cute keychains that they have. So they're like little mini stuffed animals. They come with this on it so that you can attach them to things and also a pin. Uh, I learned the hard way with my other. So who, this is? So this is Stella Lou. So right, there is, the Duffy, Duffy has all these friends. Duffy, you know, there's Duffy, there's there's uh, Shelly Mae, which is his girlfriend. The, he, and they're both bears. Gelatoni is uh, the cat. the cat. And then there's Stella Lou, which um, is that this is Stella Luth, she's a bunny. a bunny. And then there are other ones too that are in other parks, but these are the big ones. I think, I just thought she was so cute, I wanted to get her. And they were more, they were actually kind of toward the more expensive side. I, I was gonna say, and she has a little hidden Mickey on her ear. I kind of feel like, so you got this one and then you have Pirate then, Donald as well. <laughs> yeah, because it was the Pirates of the Caribbean Summer. It was I Pirate Summer, yeah, yeah, Pirate Summer. So um, I wanted to get this one because it was definitely gonna be limited. But so they don't have, they don't, they don't pin trading at the Tokyo mm -hmm. Disney Resort. And I almost, kind of feel like now I didn't see anybody trading these no. but I almost kind of feel like these are like their pin collectibles because right. like if you look at Donald's foot uh, it has the year so we went uh, last year 2019 and mm. every, you know every year so they have it's certain like a ones. limited edition yeah they have certain ones that are limited edition so I, I kind of feel like this is their you know kind of collectible pins not necessarily trading I mean we did see a lot of people that had backpacks it was covered insane. In these. Hundreds of dollars worth of these on their backpacks, and they had them all pinned in rows the I mean, whole I, way across. We, I, saw, <laughs> I think we saw some people that probably had fifty to sixty it was easily. Pinned and of these. all the same characters, you know, there were a lot of people right. like that. We saw a couple of, with Donald, which Donald's my personal favorite as as far as like the main characters are concerned. Um, a lot of people with Donald. We saw people with with um, Duffy, so yeah, this, these are really cool. And also, if you happen to go there, make sure when you attach them to your, your stuff, you use the pin because these will come off. I actually lost this exact, well, not this exact one, on an airplane, and Joe was nice enough to find me a new one and got it for me for Christmas because it came off because I had it just attached to my backpack based on this, so just, just a little lesson learned from me. And then also, I had, um, again, pin trading's not that big of a thing, but I don't know how easy you're going to be able to see this, but this is Shandu. So Shandu is from... That's from the Sinbad ride. Yeah, he's from the Sin... Okay, so the Sinbad ride is one of their more popular rides. It's one of the nicer rides that they have. And it was closed when <laughs> it we was were closed there. when we were there. You were all excited. You were looking up rides ahead of time. You're like, we have to ride this ride, and we get there, and it was closed for refurbishment. Right, so the, he, like a little tiger, and um, you can see that it's body moves so it's very cute and I have this also attached to my backpack along with these guys and some pins that I have from the US parks yeah so another cool kind of interesting thing um, that I think we saw there that again I haven't really seen so similar to the, the headbands are these purses so they're they're little um, you know kind of pouches so we got a, a Mike Wazowski one um, and again this still has a tag on it so this was $18 and again so they have a ton so they have a ton of, of these and different ones. So and you can see, you know, if you open it up, it's a nice little um, nice little purse. It has um, a slot in the back to hold your credit card. And, or your photo ID. Yeah, or your photo ID. And the reason why these are really popular is 
you have paper tickets over there. So you have to have your ticket everywhere you go. So you have your ticket printed out, you need to scan it in. Anytime you need fast passes or anything, you have to scan it in. So a lot of people buy these to you know, carry a credit card, carry your ticket in here around the park. So it's really handy to have around the parks. Right, and also the interesting thing about these, now I think that in the like in America, we probably think of this as being a purse. Um, over there, they were not thinking of it as that. They saw men, women, uh, everybody with these. So this was really a really popular item over there. So yeah, it was much, a nice carrying case. Yeah, it was a nice little carrying case, and it's super cute. They had some, like again, there were some limited edition ones. We saw, I think, a... Um, a Nick Wild one, and I was yes. we were looking so much for it because I love Nick Wild, but we could not find it. So Mike Wazowski was a good um, was a good uh, filler. I think I had a thing for bright green. For green. <laughs> I will say you mentioned. I mean, this is nice and it, and it works really well for holding your tickets over there, but it's not very deep. And you kind of no. mentioned that you know your cell phone probably wouldn't fit in this. Yeah, so we it's tried. Not, it's it. not meant for the supersized <laughs> uh -uh. American phones and everything like that. Um, but it does, it, you know, it works really good if you're going around the park, you just need to hold your ticket. I mean, even, you know, if you had an annual pass or something, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit of cash, a credit card. Um, so, you know, it's, it's or really nice Or you just there. want to show your Disney spirit. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. I mean, you don't have to put anything in it. You can kind of just, you know, uh, hold it off there. I think the last thing, um, which looking at all of this, I do not remember uh, buying this much when we were <laughs> this there. This is almost embarrassing. And so... I kind of feel like it's like, oh, we really didn't get that much, but now seeing it all laid out here, um, it, it's a lot. But you know, again, it was a it was <laughs> probably a, trip, a once in a lifetime trip. I mean, no, hopefully not. But... I plan on going back. <laughs> so, but you, you mentioned Goofy, and they had this. They had these awesome hats. So this is a hat, and they have these with the characters. So it looks like the characters are kind of eating your head. So he has his little, <laughs> his little tiny legs back there. Uh, and his, uh, you know, his head. So it's his whole body. Yeah, it's like it's a his whole, whole stuffed animal. But then instead of having a regular head, they just put a hat for yeah. the head. It's incredible. So I got this. So they this had way. Chip and Dale. They had a bunch of different characters. But the yeah, the Goofy one was one of the best. Yeah. I still have yet to wear this to school on a hat day, a crazy hat day. Um, no. So this was this was my life. Um, <laughs> put your so, head down a little bit. There so, you. Yeah. So it looks like so one now I look like I'm Goofy, and now it looks like Goofy has like tried to. <laughs> comedically chopped down on my head so <laughs> and that's the one thing obviously about disney parks that's fun and everything's falling so that was part of the the magic of i think tokyo tokyo disneyland i mean i think in a regular disney park you feel like mostly everything goes i felt even more so in in tokyo disneyland than anything goes you know i feel like it, it's very interesting because outside of the you know tokyo disneyland uh, it's very restrictive, I think, and in, in, I don't want to say restrictive, but culturally they're a lot more conservative than we here we are here in America. But inside the park, it felt like more anything goes. I mm -hmm. mean, you would not feel goofy. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I wore this walking around the park with this on or yep. that on. Um, people, oh, I don't think anybody would feel goofy. People were that. walking around the parks holding hands, wearing matching outfits. Um, it was a lot of there was a lot of fun going on in the parks. So, you know, anything goes there and you don't yep. feel silly. Again, if you're a man, a woman, a child, whatever, you're 87 years old. There, we saw a guy who had all the Duffy stuffed animals and he had them lined up on, um, they have like a Venetian gondola ride and he was using his stuffed animals to wave at people. So any of that stuff goes, nobody's gonna look at you funny. Um, so it was that, that part I really enjoyed about the parks. Yeah, so I think that's, <laughs> that is all, that's we got all the merchandise we got at, at the, parks. the parks. I mean, we, they had, um, you know, we tried the mochis there. They had the alien mochis. Mm -hmm. um, we had to try those over at Disney Sea near the Toy Story area. So those, those were pretty good. Uh, mochis, they're, they're like a, a rice jelly that are filled with it's different like fillings. A, it's like, yeah, it's like a bean filling. A bean paste, yeah, which bean paste. doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound good, it's really good. But it, it is really good. You can also, I think you can get them with ice cream, but there it's with a bean paste. I think they're yeah, like strawberry. Yeah, I think Ameri our American version is usually with ice cream. Yeah, so they had, I think, strawberry, vanilla, and, and chocolate. And chocolate, mm -hmm. one other flavor. So those, you know, those are pretty good um, to try. And yeah, we had a lot of fun walking around. <laughs> yeah, they had with some all interesting foods that were really good. But yeah, that, that was, I think, the highlight. And we had a lot of fun with the merch. Also, just one final side note: as we went to a place that had all these quarter machines, and they have tons of different, um, you know, fun little things, trick trinkets you can get. I actually got a little Simba. It was like two dollars. It was like this little tiny Simba, but it's at work that I left there. But 
uh, when we were in this big arcade, I saw something in one of the claw machines and I needed to have it. So we went around the city and searched for Q Poskets because check her out. She is so boss. Look at that attitude. It's kind of like a Funko. Yeah, it's like a Funko Pop, but it's way prettier, way cuter. Her eyes aren't dead. <laughs> like Funko, not that I, Well, no, Funko, nothing against Funko, Funko Pops. just has like the, we the love black... Them. Right. They just have like the black eyes. I mean, like look at the fun codes back there. Yeah, we have a have, ton. I, they just have the, we have, like, the black little... dots for the eyes. Yeah, but these ones, um, and they had a ton of different Disney princesses, and they were all really cute, and there were some that were, like they reminded me of, they were collector's they, items. I would say they have a whole collection. I mean, mm -hmm. they have multiple Jasmines you know, in, in her different um, outfits. They have uh, Tangled, Frozen, they have Anna and Elsa, Rapunzel, yeah. and, and multiple outfits, Little Mermaid. So, yeah, it was really cool. We you know, we didn't see that. They don't sell those, at least that we saw at the uh, Tokyo Disney Resort, but we did see those, you know, at the shops out, you had and, a, and you picked one up. I think we even came home and we looked. The only way that you can get them was eBay. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is something that I was really happy that we got when we were there because she's just so cool. All right, so I think that wraps up because I think we got enough merchandise on our trip. We don't have much room left on the table here. So thanks, everybody, again for watching. And down in the comments below, let us know what your favorite thing that maybe we got in the parks were or if you actually have ever been to Tokyo Disneyland, what your favorite piece of merch is. It's definitely so. the Scoofy hat. <laughs> All thanks. right, see, see ya. ya.